David Cole. C O A L. Not the Cole we're trying to save. <laughs> On the ground. Would, would you like to let everybody see your hat? This is a great hat. Stop XL pipeline and tax carbon. No fossil fuel subsidies. That's right. I love the hat. You notice that the Golden Gate Bridge is in the background? Yes. You are here today at San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge on June 20th, 2013 at the Keystone XL Pipeline demonstration. We're going to walk across the bridge. Why are you here? Uh, we have to give a very strong message to Obama to reject this project. It's one of the dirtiest projects for fossil fuel and it's an uh, indicator of his policies. He said over and over again that he's going to address climate change and we're here to support him in making the right decision to not go through with this pipeline. He actually said that in Germany this week. That's correct. In fact, just this morning I was reading in the paper that he plans to come out uh, very soon uh, using uh, rules through the EPA to limit carbon from existing power plants. He already put in place rules for new power plants, but he's talking about limiting carbon from existing power plants. So this is a really good indication that perhaps he's going to stay true to his word and we need to be out here to support him in making the right decisions. Where are you from? I'm from Palo Alto. Did you come all the way up from Palo Alto for this Yes, I today? took the train and my bicycle. <laughs> you rode your bike over here from the train? Correct. Wow, that's commitment. That's what we have to do. Why is there fire in your belly about this? Have you been uh, personally affected by this in any way? That's what I want to this know. This is our number one defining issue for humanity um, until this problem is solved. We have a lot of other things, but this is the number one issue. Why do you think so? This, is, this affects everybody. You know, Many issues affect this population or that population. This affects not only all of humanity, but all the natural systems on this planet. There's no other planet that we can go to. Uh, this is it, and we need to decidedly work on it, as if this is it, and it is, so. Do you have children? No, I don't. You're trying, essentially, to save this planet. That's correct. Okay. The realization of the facts at hand and why this country isn't acting up to that task, I have no idea. It's just it's purely greed that's driving us in the wrong directions for a variety of reasons that in the long run just actually don't add up. Who's greed? Well, the oil companies, the energy companies, the oil companies and fossil fuel industry, they can be energy companies and not just focused on the one source of energy, fossil fuels, that's going to be detrimental to our future. And how will the Keystone XL pipeline affect that situation of fossil fuels? Well, we have right now on the books five times more fossil fuels than we can burn to keep the planet safe. And we need to keep fossil fuels in the ground, sequestered already. <laughs> And Sequester XL means in the ground protected. Not Sequester. Make sure we don't burn it. If right. we burn it, we cause trouble. Okay. <laughs> Leave the tar sands where they are. It causes great destruction when you dig them up. There's not going to be very much benefit to this country as they'll be shipped overseas. It's a boondoggle project. It doesn't create that many jobs. If you what look does at a boondoggle project mean? One that just is not worth it. Doesn't add up. Doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't create any jobs. We've been told that it would create. Oh, we've a been hot told a whole bunch of things. But if you read a statement from my representative Anna Eshu, she has a very good paper on exactly why this doesn't do good for jobs. Why it's not good for the country. Why doesn't it do good for jobs? They're temporary jobs that are created and then they go away. They're not permanent jobs. Renewable energy have far more jobs than fossil fuel jobs. So it just it doesn't add up on a whole variety of levels. Did you know that this tar sands is going to go through this pipeline down into the Gulf of Mexico and Texas and be sold to other countries? Those jobs are not going to be here. They're in other countries. That's why it's a boondoggle. Yeah. That's why it doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Thank you so much for your statement. You're really welcome. appreciate that.